y'all. It is Paula with Hillbilly Orchids. Welcome back to my channel. I hope everybody's having a fantastic week. I, um, I don't know. Today is actually, I'm filming this on the day that I'm going to go get my teeth fixed. So hopefully, hopefully everything will be okay afterwards. So I don't really know for sure, but, um, this is going to be Friday's video and I might be a couple videos short this week, you guys. Um, depends upon like really what happens um i have normally i film already this week but i've been sick and not feeling good so i haven't had a chance to film um i've had a lot of uh back stock of um like pictures of flowers and stuff that i did actually just get posted the last couple of days doing those because like you know i can sit around easily and do those um, I already had the pictures done. All I had to do was just edit it and put it together. But the videos for YouTube, I didn't really have edited and put together. So, and I didn't have the footage stuff to actually get them put together. But, <clears throat> excuse me. I did want to, <clears throat> excuse me. <clears throat> I don't know why now I'm going to get choked up. <clears throat> Anyways, I did want to bring you this beautiful girl beautiful 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 i couldn't help but do a spotlight video on this catalanthe lug tone african beauty <sighs> she is just dreamy y'all just dreamy that is her tag just dreamy absolutely just dreamy. She is, I'm going to zoom in because I'm shadowing her a little. Oops, I was a little far to zoom in. But yeah, um, and, and really there's not a whole lot to tell about this plant. There's not. Um, it is a, um, you know, it is a cross, but we'll get into that in a minute. Um, I do, I, I just think this is a first time bloom for me for this one. Um, I do want to talk about it because she deserves a spotlight. Um, she is gorgeous in looks. She is waxy. She is, um, different multitudes of red tones, which is just out of this world phenomenal. And her scent is mind-blowingly sweet. Um, it's, it's, a it's kind of a hard um, sent to, to come up with to tell you what she smells like. It's sort of like a sweet baby powder kind of rose, not, not rosy. It's not, it's not rose scented really. I don't think it's, um, it's very sweet. It's very strong. So, uh, Tony at the tiny jungle, he told me, he said, wait till she gets, five to seven flowers on that inflorescence and I'm like whoa yeah that will be a phenomenal day y'all that will be woo. but um a little downfall to her is her size she is a very <clears throat> very long caned cattleya so she's not a space saver cattleya at all um she see and, and as you can see like perfectly um with her canes uh the staggering growth to get to the point to where she bloomed so yeah she's not by any means a small plant at all um i mean she stays pretty compact but her bifoliate leaves do go really tall so and you as you can see they're a big leaf too as well like, they do kind of come out and really umbrella. So, but let's, let's stop right for this second. And um, I'm going to go ahead and put you on the tripod then. So we can just, you know, look at these beautiful blooms. And I'll tell you just a little bit about her. And, um, yeah, we'll go from there. Hey, y'all. My channel is sponsored by the Orchid Supply Store. It is literally your one-stop shop for anything and everything you could possibly need orchid-related. They have pots, they have media, they even sell orchids. Use my name, Code Hillbilly, in the code section for a 12% viewer's discount. They also do free shipping in the U.S. 
So go check them out, y'all. Alrighty, we are back. It took me a minute to get that adjusted. My 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 holder, is, I had to stretch it all the way up to get it out there so that, um, yeah, you could see that. Uh, so you could be lying eye to eye with her blooms. Um, <clears throat> this plant was a gift to me from Justin at Justin's Orchids and More. Um, uh, it does, it makes me miss Justin. I haven't spoken to him for a while. Um, you know, since his life changed, um, yeah, I miss him. Uh, he's not been around and I haven't, you know, been able to talk to him, which we talked every day. Um, and this does make me miss him. Um, uh, I've had a few friends <laughs> come and go like that. And, uh, Brenda recently came back and she, she yelled out, shouted out and, I was like, where have you been? You know, like I really missed her. I had some flowers that she bought me that came into bloom that were first time bloomers as well. And I missed being able to reach out to my friend and say, hey, guess what? That flower, that plant you got me bloomed and it's so gorgeous and thank you. And, you know, I missed that. I missed that with my friends. So, um, but <clears throat> anyways, <clears throat> to go on, uh, this is, um, Calianthe Luke Tone. This is um, African Beauty. Uh, beautiful, beautiful. Multitudes of red colors that you can see in her whenever you, um, you know, move the light back and forth on her. Um, I did find in, in doing a little bit of research on her that there's also a yellow, a Luke Tone yellow that is available looks pretty cool I'll put you up a little screenshot um, it looks like it would be a nice one to have as well um, it's a yellow with that same the same indicative red lip um, which is nice uh, I bet I bet too that the yellows are waxy um, it's it, from the flower from the pictures it's hard to tell like you can't really 100% uh, tell that she is, um, whether or not the yellow is waxy, but the red is definitely waxy, and that is something that is phenomenal about her. She's waxy. She smells, and, and really, you guys, it was the combination of the two things. Her beauty and her scent alone deserves her a spotlight because I, I wish you guys could smell her. I have been just on top of the world telling everybody about how great this plant smells. Um, it's strong, so uh, if you don't like really strong scents, you don't have to, you know, you don't have to put your nose into her to smell her. I'm standing behind this camera probably three feet away, and you can smell her. She is phenomenal. Um, I took her in there this morning, let my husband smell her, and um, he was like, wow. I was like, I know. He said his opinion is, is that it's not a typical flower smelling scent either, which is cool. That is, that is kind of how you can explain her scent. It's not a typical flower scent at all, but it's a phenomenal scent. And because of her beauty and her scent, landed her a nice spotlight video on my channel <laughs> so but anyways uh lube tone african beauty is catalanthe net net natra natrasi natrasiri natrasiri maybe n-e-t-r-a-s-i-r-i -R -R -I. natrasiri doll crossed with catalaya fastball spot i will put that up there in case i'm butchering it but that is her cross. That is the cross that they use to make her. And it is, yeah, terrific cross, terrific cross. Um, I do see some places that do have them for sale. Uh, they are smaller plants, though, 2.5 2 inch pots and stuff. Yeah, Hauserman says about two years from blooming. I don't know. Not in a 2.5 two inch pot, no. I don't... You've seen the stages. Um, yeah, 2.5 inch might be like what those last lower bulbs would be. But, yeah. And like I said, this one this one was a bag baby that Justin got at, um, I believe it was Lowe's. He, they got them in. 
and he showed him to me and he's like, is there any of them you want? And I was like, yeah, I want that one. <laughs> so it was really, really sweet of him to, uh, pick it up for me. <clears throat> now, um, I did mention the yellow. Oh, it does say actually on Orchid Web, it says, um, the yellow is a semi-tall bifoliate hybrid waxy yellow orange and red flowers that have a slightly sweet fragrance. Um, I may have to really consider seeing if I can't track down a yellow one. But it too is net, net, Netrisiri doll crossed with Cattleya Thospel. What is it? Thospel spot. <laughs> So, but it is a yellow, and I want, it must be a Mariclone in order to keep the yellow, I would say. I, I don't know, some of the, some of the actual um, African beauties are Mariclone as well. Uh, Palmer did have some Mariclones, but they're out of stock right now at Palmer's, so, yeah. But anyways, um, yeah, the, the yellow one might be one that I would really, really like to consider getting. Um, and like I said, it's not that her crosses or anything is any real big, huge deal. Um, it's not. Uh, it's just, I really wanted this plant to have a little bit of air time um, and, and get in front of the camera with you guys and say, if you got room for this one and you like the waxy, she is a nice one to have. Nice, 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 you guys. Um, I am just over the moon about her scent. Um, yeah, I, I can't explain it, but she's definitely a keeper in my environment. And, um, yep, I, after, after she blooms on this one, she's actually going to get an upgrade into a bigger pot. Um, she's actually in a five inch pot, but she needs to go a little bit bigger because she, that last growth is on the edge of the pot. So we will do that. But, and, and as for like a, a little quick care, um, she's typical Cattleya. She likes it hot. She likes it humid and she likes bright light, but not full sun. She likes under LED lights. She likes as close to the light as you can get her. And if you're going to do, you know, regular sun, I would give her like full morning sun and then afternoon bright light. Um, because she, she can hack a lot, but, um, they just, they can't really hack full sun too well. So it's gotta be, gotta be pretty well modeled down, um, to, for them to handle it. But yeah, definitely they're a high humidity lover. They love, um, as you can see right now in my grow space, it's 80, 80% 80 humidity. Sorry about the dust. It's 82 degrees with 80% humidity. I'm dying. I'm sweating. But they love it. That is perfect for my cat layers in here. They love it. Um, so, yep, that's it, you guys. That is basically the little spotlight on just how to take care of her. And, like I said, she deserves it. I wish we had smell-o-vision. That way you guys could smell her. I mean, because her scent is amazing. I can't, I can't put that out there enough. It is wonderful wonderful so there you guys go that is my little spotlight uh on uh, my caliente lube tone and um yeah with that said i appreciate each and every one of you beautiful wonderful people stopping by and hanging out with me and bye for now y'all till we meet again